Later on in this video, I will show you how this squirt bottle blew my mind. But before that, I want you to imagine buying a weird fruit for the first time. You have never heard about this fruit before. You ask a friend how to clean this exotic fruit before eating it, just to make sure you're not making any dumb mistakes. Then your friend launches into this epic rant about how he uses three different jars of chemicals and he dumps the fruit down in them and stirs them up and down before finally he puts the fruit in this big chemical bath uh, with this weird thing that stirs everything around. Slightly weirded out, you might ask another friend for advice as well, just to get a second opinion. Their response? Just rinse it in water. Now, I know fruits and resin prints are pretty far apart to be a direct analogy, but I still think the resin printing community has a blind spot for how great water washing resin can actually be. Beginners are very rarely recommended to try water washing when they first start printing with resin. In fact, they get heavily discouraged from even trying it out. Oh, it's so bad, it's so brittle. And there was a good reason for not recommending it but I don't think there's any reason anymore. Let me try and explain it. If you look through most resin brands product line, it's only very recently that they have begun carrying a non-basic water washable resin. Before that, all the water washable resins were of the basic or standard resin type. So it's only natural that the water washable resins have shared the properties of normal basic resin. And those properties are often, they are on the cheap side, they have a low viscosity, so are quite runny. They have okay to fine detail, but most important of all, they are almost always extremely brittle. What is even worse is that the water washable resin we have had have actually been extremely hard to wash with water. It was hard to get the liquid resin off just with water. That leads to sticky prints and you don't want that. Not to mention the endless liters of resin water waste you get when cleaning with water. So for a long time, the natural conclusion was that water washable resins are bad because they were. But here we have a faulty generalization. We conclude that because most resins that have the water washable property are bad, all water washable resins will inherently be bad. From that same reasoning or logic, we could conclude that because we have tried a lot of basic bad resins that are brittle, all resins in the world will be brittle. But we know that's not true. There's plenty of great flexible or hard resins out there. And now we have water washable resins that are close in toughness and flexibility to the standard ABS-like resins you know and love. And it can actually be washed with water. Crazy, right? And for beginners, I think water washable resin is the best place to start. You can skip the wash station, it's a simpler process and you avoid the stress of IPA conservation and messing about with the jars. You might live in a world where alcohol is hard to get or it might be extremely expensive. And in that case, water washing is also a great option for you. But <clears throat> to make the experience of washing with water go from okay to great, we need an efficient method of washing. We need a mind blowing squirt bottle or maybe this one. And we need a big bucket with a lid. This is how you water wash with the bucket and spray method. First off, you print your miniatures in a water washable resin that is not extremely brittle. So something ABS like. I like to print with Wargamer because I think the finish is great and it washes very easily with water. Once your prints are done, you get your big bucket. You fill your squirt bottle with warm tap water. You take a model and squirt it a few times with water. You let all of the water drip down in the bucket. The warm water makes the resin a bit more flexible, giving you an easier time taking off supports. That's great when you're starting out. Once you have all of the supports off, you squirt the model all over. The water and the force of the squirt should be enough to get the liquid resin off. That is, if it is a good resin. With this type of squirt bottle, you have a bit less force on the squirt, but you use less water, meaning less waste water to get rid of. This one, it will be a bit more force on the squirt, but it's more water. You can also just dunk in water, submerge them, but that requires a lot more water and it gives a ton of waste. 
more on getting rid of that later. Once done, put that model on some paper towel and repeat on the rest of the models. Once they are all cleaned of supports and resin, dab them with a paper towel to get as much water off the models as you possibly can. So far, things have been pretty smooth for team water, right? We have one big bucket with waste. Instead of expensive, smelly, toxic and flammable alcohol, we have used water for cleaning. There's no need for a wash station or jar juggling in this process. But here we hit one of the main drawbacks. Water evaporates extremely slowly and you want all of the water off the model before you cure them. One option is to leave them drying overnight as is right now. Another method if you are in a bit of a hurry is try to blow them with cold air from a hair dryer getting more water off before you let them dry. You can also have a fan running on them but there seems to be no super efficient way of getting the water off the models. If you know of one, leave a comment down below. At any rate, cure your models as you normally would when they are completely dry and you're ready to go. But what about this bucket of wastewater you now have? What you want to do is get the liquid resin to settle at the bottom and be cured by sunlight. You then want the water to evaporate, but man, it takes forever. Ways to speed up this process is to increase the surface area. So a big top is ideal. You can also get more sunlight on it to get more heat. And you can also try putting a fan blowing on the water. That should help a bit. Remember to make sure you don't get more water in your waste from rain and make sure birds don't bathe or drink in the water. Oh, and hollow models and water washable resin is not something I really recommend. The inside surface of the model will never be cured, so it will slowly seek in moisture from the air over time. This can lead to cracking miniatures. So when you print big and hollow models, I would suggest go with the alcohol route instead. My conclusion is simple. If you're starting your resin journey today, go with water washing in the start. You can always upgrade down the line, but Remember to watch this video about common mistakes beginners make when they start printing in resin.